Welcome back. A major controversy erupted in Karnataka after Congress Minister Zameer Ahmed Khan posted a video on X where he was seen flaunting his luxurious private aircraft. He was travelling along with Chief Minister of Karnataka, Mr. Sidaramaya, to seek drought relief funds from the central government. The video attracted severe criticism from the opposition BJP who slammed the Congress for wastage of public money and mocking the poor. But this is not it. Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shivkumar and Chief Minister Sidaramaya slammed the BJP and stated that they have no moral right to question the party. Well, at a time when the state is facing one of the worst droughts that they have seen in over 100 years, is this display of this kind of wealth and luxury really warranted? We talk on Brass Tax बड़े लग्जूरियस एयरक्राफ्ट लेके जाना ये बिल्कुल अनुचित है एक तो भ्रष्टाचार से जो उन्होंने वेल्थ अप कमाई कर रहे हैं उसका एक प्रदर्शन एज अर्ली आल्सो व्हेन अर्लीर बीजेपी मिनिस्टर्स चीफ मिनिस्टर यूज्ड टू यूज माय चीफ मिनिस्टर आल्सो इन आवर टू सेव टाइम ही हैज कम आउट देयर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन इट इज ऑल अ पॉलिटिकल स्टेटमेंट we don't mind their comments on that Well, let's give you some perspective how bad this drought really is. The state is facing one of the most severe droughts in 123 years. 223 taluks out of the 236 have been declared as drought hit and worse affected. Out of this, about 196 are severely affected and over 79% uh, of land in Karnataka is affected by this particular situation. The state government has estimated the loss at around 35,000 crore rupees. A report recently said that 456 farmers have died due to suicide since April with an average of two deaths per day. Well, if those numbers are not startling enough, what really is? Uh, let's talk about another, the tweet of the day. The, uh, the, they went all guns blazing against the ruling Congress party and I'm talking about the BJP. And the BJP has slammed Mr. Sidharamaya and his government for the VVIP mindset and that's our Motorola tweet of the day. BJP's Amit Malviya tweeted and I'm quoting him right now. Hello, Moto. Well, the tweet is, on one hand, Congress is pretending to crowdfund and didn't even serve samosas at the alliance meeting. On the other hand, Zameer Ahmed Khan, the cabinet minister, is flaunting his luxury private aircraft. All right, let's take that question to our guests as well who are joining us on the broadcast. Shrezad Poonawala, the national spokesperson of the BJP, is with us on the broadcast. Lavanya Balal from the Congress party is also with us on the show. Lavanya, first to you. Um, I'm not saying that the chief minister should not have a private jet or a private aircraft. That's, that's not a problem. But the manner in which it was displayed on social media and the timing of it, to, the, to say the very least, is insensitive to the people of the state which elected this government and this party in power. Lavanya. Good evening. Good evening. Let me set the record correct. It is not CM's private plane. Hmm. It was a plane chartered by someone else and the CM took a ride in the plane back to Karnataka. It's good that we are discussing about PM's uh, ride in this particular, you know, flight, private flight. Mm. We also need to discuss about BJP's private flights, BJP flying multiple daily flights or privately. We mm. also need to discuss when there was severe flooding in Karnataka in 2019. BJP was doing Operation Kamala and they had multiple private flights parked especially to kidnap and take our MLAs to Bombay. They brought them back in private planes. Mm. Nobody had any objections at that point of time. We also would like to know if Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who deemed that it's, you know, the previous PM's planes were not fit enough for him, he has a special plane which is 8,000 crore worth. Does it not land in Manipur? Does it not land in Tamil Nadu when there are floods? Mm. Does it not land in Karnataka now that there are droughts? Let us talk about private planes of all leaders. You know, what we are missing here is when Zameer, uh, who posted this video, everybody talks about that video. Nobody talks about the announcement that Zameer made when he landed in Bangalore, mm. saying our slum dwellers will get houses for one lakh. 
So this is not private uh, funded by the exchequer of Karnataka it is funded by the person who hired this plane who happens to be an MLC in Karnataka he was the one who hired this plane it is not his plane he hired this private plane it's not like the BJP MPs do not fly from Bangalore to Delhi uh, in uh, private planes right we have seen that multiple times hmm. but let us also uh, let us also discuss about why this uh whole thing happened hmm. our the leaders were forced to go to delhi to ask for financial justice for karnataka hmm. because the central government is refusing to release the funds meant for karnataka karnataka's rightful share also hmm. because 25 bjp mps in karnataka are refusing to do their work there is dereliction of duty by them there is no funds being given by the central government to karnataka even for the drops this so ma'am ma'am ma, you so, think I, this yes. video was in bad taste to say the very least i'm just lowering uh, you know the the tenor of my argument to understand where exactly do you stand do you think that this particular video was in bad taste and then i'll take the point to the bjp spokesperson absolutely absolutely i i also spoke to zameer sir today and i said there was no necessity for you to post this video okay. multiple leaders including jp leaders fly private planes from my bangalore right. to delhi you made that point you made that, that point if you have shazad a quick rebuttal yeah. from you please go ahead I did not inter intervene when Lavanya was speaking. I hope she'll extend the same courtesy. The issue is not about constitutional functionaries using chartered planes or private planes to go from one place to another because of security reasons or because of other constraints like time. That's not the issue. The issue is that at a time when the state is suffering from a drought, you've come to ask the center for additional relief fund. You have already had a history where you increase milk prices, you increase electricity tariffs. You've not been able to deliver on the promises. The bankruptcy is there in the state. They are saying no development projects are available to be done. In that context, you have a minister, and ministers work not just on constitutional position but on lok laj. In that context, he puts a video. flaunting the vvip luxury and puts the backdrop of sultan as if he is the sultan of karnataka this is offensive this is obscene now i'm glad that lavanya has taken this position that she finds the video obscene hmm. but ramalinga reddy who's the minister in that government has come out and said it's their private moment mr sidramaiya has started giving some other excuses hmm. other people are saying but you travel in this plane you travel in that plane by the way the 8000 crore planes that you're talking about were ordered by manmohan singh By the way when Manmohan Singh used to fly abroad he used to spend 9 and a half crores per trip for the 642 crores that he spent on 67 trips mm -hmm. Prime Minister Modi's expenses are far lesser than that as put out by the Chief Minister of Karnataka mm -hmm. and the question is what is your priority if you are going to seek funds and relief for the people of Karnataka you are so disconnected from the sentiment of the people of Karnataka that you obscenely put this video you should be sacking this man who also by the way Lavanya says that if you don't wear a hijab you will be Raped. This is the legacy or the backdrop of this man, Zamir Ahmed Khan. So, therefore, you must tell your minister that at least he must have low class, and that is the only issue. It's not about private planes going from. By the way, but when your coffers are empty, why are you buying thirty-three luxurious cars for ministers? Mm. When your coffers are empty, you are increasing milk prices, and on the other hand, you are saying that we don't have any money for development. Then why such splurge? And by the way, if the MLC has so much money to charter such a VIP flight, why are they asking for donation? I'm coming to that point. I'm coming why to that point. Why are they asking for Lavanya, donation? Isn't this the party of Mahatma Gandhi, who, which uh, the father of our nation, which preached to the entire world the power of simplicity and austerity? at a time when the state is battling the worst of the drought you pointed out that this uh, plane was hired by an mlc in karnataka and he might have done that out of his private funds but what kind of public messaging is here i wonder as a citizen that when a state is battling a situation of this nature is that where our elected representatives are really spending on when well, the question applies to the prime minister also right but that applies not... to you also i'll ask that about the prime minister but it applies to you also Absolutely, I'm not saying the question doesn't apply to us. All I'm saying is 
there is a disconnect when it comes to the prime minister there is no questions asked there, when it comes to bjp there is no questions asked it is only when the congress leaders do something oh everybody remembers there is no funds excuse mm. me i would like to put the record straight mm. there are funds in karnataka there are works happening in karnataka mm. zami rehmat got out of that flight and said 1 lakh 80000 slum dwellers in karnataka will receive houses for 1 lakh rupees that's um, a huge thing all i can say One of our- All I can say, as a student of law and social yeah. science, that irony died a thousand deaths. I mean, you you get off a, off a plane like that with that video on social media, flaunting those luxuries, and then you talk about slum dwellers. It doesn't add up, Lavanya. In my moral compass, it doesn't add up. And I'm not saying that question is alone for the Congress party, but it's a self call. It's not that the BJP has tweeted this video. Your own party members have tweeted this video. It is Zami Ahmed himself who has tweeted exactly, this. Video. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. tweeted this video it is just like how narendra modi ji was feeding peacocks during covid times when our migrant laborers were dying on the roads walking back home it's as insensitive as that i totally agree with that i so totally agree. agree so you agree it it's insensitive, insensitive. and there then no and then that, but but lavanya i find this argument very appalling so morally there's no difference between the congress and the bjp because the congress distinguishes itself from the bjp my last point to you then i'll go to uh, shaza of course we are different from the bjp we are not partying here our it's a, it's a circular Delhi argument lavanya that you're making shahzad a quick point from you why is it that there is so much focus when the congress party is spending or the leaders or the chief ministers are taking a private jet similar criticism can be uh, can be made for bjp Look, leaders and netas first of all if the congress party is so rich that its mlcs can charter the super luxurious plane and they can have 350 crores lying in their house then why are they asking the people of this country to donate to them Like one thirty-eight rupees, one lakh thirty-eight thousand rupees. Mr. Kharge said that my one month's salary went away. So don't How put the bird. One second, Lavan, I did not interrupt you. And by the night and the debate progresses, I don't know which kind of analogies you start drawing. You have a problem with the Prime Minister discharging his constitutional duties mm-hmm. or visiting foreign locations and getting uh, uh, G20 into India or getting good relations being made, and you're comparing that with a hopeless minister making a video on the track of Sultan and KGF theme. and putting his legs on mm-hmm. top of each other I'll on the sea Lavani, and then talking about slum dwellers being given houses the f- slum dwellers you're talking about could have had 10 houses in that one plane that you chartered how about giving that 10 lakh rupees to people who are affected by the floods where is your responsibility to the public today's question is entirely about the morality of it mm-hmm. no bjp leader has ever flaunted this kind of way mm-hmm. so therefore to draw parallels is is extremely obnoxious Today, if Lavanya thinks the d- tweet is and is objectionable, mm. she should tell us what action I they will take. You. Otherwise, they are having double speak. They talk about austerity, but they want to re- live like richy rich, and they are a party of richy riches. Uh, Lavanya, I hope you're able to hear me. Uh, it's it's one thing, you know. Sometimes in a in a country like ours, we have a, 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 the the inequality is rampant mm-hmm. and white, and we and we know about it. especially when times are tough for a state and you are the elected leader of the state i'm talking about the chief minister as well i'm glad you said that to to see the very least that the video is not really sensitive enough to the times uh, through which the state is really sailing through right now why is it your, that your party has not taken an official position on it because we've seen multiple leaders including the chief minister sort of justifying this particular video by comparing it to the prime minister's visit please explain what do you mean by official position official position as in this is insensitive enough and Ramlinger we should take down that video i'll explain maybe if i have 10 seconds no, can i i, I, I think seconds? i think it's very easy seconds. but she asked me she asked 10 me 10 seconds Shahzad, no, you can't speak. Uh, Shahzad, well, well, everybody, everybody, everybody can decide when they can speak. But Lavanya, official position is when a political party decides through its leadership that they, together on the subject, are going to talk about something in one voice. So when you condemn something, you don't justify it in the second breath. Am I clear? Yeah. So this is not the only flight our leaders have flown. Hmm. That is a private charter. This is not the only leader or the only set of leaders who have flown private in India. There are multiple leaders. We have a beautiful example of uh, Narendra Modi ji wearing his monogrammed uh, suit when the country was in distress. But he you asked me the meaning of not... official position. I explained it to you, and no. now you're not coming on that and point. And you're justifying it, just going up opposite to your own position. Okay, okay, May I have five go ahead. Seconds, just five go ahead. Seconds. I'll come back to you, Shaza. I'll give her two minutes to respond. Two minutes. I know Shahzad. You would love to make personal comments. You have a habit of making personal comments. Personal. It's different from that. 
He's not made any personal comments so far, Lavanya. No, no personal comments have been made. Stop rest assured. Stop living in your own rest created assured. virtual rest reality assured. and get out of it. For all Congress people, get out of your virtual reality. Rest assured, Lavanya. Talk about the substance of the issue. I Please don't go. have time to make personal comments about you all. I will. I will. Tell him to stop talking when I am talking, na? Why is he calling my leaders as hopeless? Who is he to tell? Label them as hopeless. Go ahead, make your point. Go ahead and make your point. Go ahead and make your point, Lavanya. I have to go back to BJP as well. Go ahead. So the point is this: huh. when we are flying private, yes, we have fly, flown private. We have not hidden it from anybody. Hmm. Yes, we have done that, and we will in future also. There might be instances where leaders might need to fly private planes. Hmm. Our question is: they didn't fly there for having fun. Hmm. They went there because of the dereliction of the duty hmm. by the BJP MPs and the central government. Hmm. Now, if you are willing to ignore all of that. But only focus on oh there is drought. I would like to know what is the BJP leader's contribution to Karnataka at this situation. Okay. It is a drought. Will you will what you now please the... answer one question that I have for you? Thirty seconds, Lavanya. Why didn't your uh, party take an official position on it? There is no necessity for to take an official position at all. It is not an issue at all. It is irrelevant. Right. It is an issue being created by the media and the BJP. I'm glad I was able to say through seconds. on the test that you had put for me. Shahzad, please seconds. go ahead. Yes. Let's assume this issue is irrelevant. Hmm. But I'll show you something more insensitive. Shivanand Patil Minister, farmers are dying by suicide to claim compensation that you are giving. What is the stand that your party took on this statement, madam? Or is insensitivity a hallmark of the Congress leaders? You can take my time, Lavanya, and also get out of your virtual reality that I have said anything personal to you. I don't think you're important enough. Shazza, just that. reiterate the statement that you were reading. What exactly is that statement? Farmers dying by suicide huh. to claim compensation, says Shivanand Patil, huh. Minister, 6 September 2023. Shivanand Patil, one of the statements, that's, that's what he's quoting, Lavanya. Yeah, let me respond. Yeah. There was a mistake. And when they translated his Kannada statement into English, is when people made a mistake. Oh, achha. translation is not bad. Let me let me finish. No, Shahzad. No, no, translation is not bad. Could you just stay closer to the mic? Your voice is fading and fading out. Yes. There are multiple deaths that are happening in the Karnataka state, and every murder or every death is being considered as a farmer's suicide, whereas not You're all justifying it. Are the farmer suicide is what the minister said God at that point you. of You're time. justifying the statement. Suicides, not all suicides are farmer suicides. Hmm. Farmers are committing suicide. He didn't disagree with that. He said not all suicides are farmer suicides because some of them were not even farmers. How do you? I, how are you, you seriously you? saying this? this is the official position of the Congress Party now denying farmers committed suicide? This party, which lectures the entire country about farmers' rights, this party, which talks in Parliament about farmers, is coming and saying that the farmer who committed suicide is not suicide because you have to defend the insensitive statement of your leader. This is hopeless. I reiterate, you are hopeless. Thank you so much, Reza. It shows your decorum. It's right. so low. Your political system is all right. so low. I, all right. I believe, I believe when, it comes to, when it comes to farmer suicides and if there is a position that the party wants to take or the government wants to take that this was a suicide and this was a death, I, I believe that's politically convenient for any government to do. And far more sensitivity ought to be exercised at that point in time. But yes, this uh, entire video that was put up on the social media uh, website attracted a lot of political attention. We'll talk about this and much more. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Brass Tax. Thank you so much for joining us.